Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining Channel. In today's video, we're going to have a look at my helium testing results with the 8 dBi antenna that I bought from Amazon. Before we jump straight into it, if you like this type of content, maybe consider liking the video or potentially subscribing to the channel and that will help me out a great deal. But anyway, enough of the plug for my channel, let's jump straight into it. Just a quick recap on the history in case you haven't watched my first video and I'll leave a link in the video description and tag it at the top. But I started helium mining last year or I ordered a Bobcat 300 miner. I then had a look at the lead times and realized that I wasn't going to get it anytime soon. Subsequently, I found a SenseCap M1 locally from a scalper which I bought. And then I set it up and realized that the standard antenna was not going to be good enough. I then bought a couple of other antennas. So I think I bought five in total. So I bought a 6 dBi McGill antenna from the scalper. I then bought four other antennas from Amazon, one being the 8 dBi antenna that we're talking about today, and then three dBi or two 3 dBi antennas, one indoor and one outdoor, and then one 5.8 dBi antenna. But enough of the antennas, let me show you what the test setup looks like upstairs. So here we are upstairs looking at my setup and my testing station. We have my gaming PC currently mining away flux on my GPU, so on the 6800 XT. Then on my CPU I am mining Monero Ocean, so I'm getting some Monero with that. Um, I've got my Raspberry Pi here on the left hand side waiting patiently for the flux node hovering. I think that has been moved back slightly, but it's still I think this 12th of March. Anyway, I digress. Let's have a look at the testing station so if you watch some of my other videos or you haven't it's in the exact same place so I'll leave a link to those videos descriptions but I've got my sense cap m1 in the corner as high as I can go at least at this stage I've managed to put the antenna this is an 8 dbi antenna that we tested this week right at the back of the sense cap m1 so the idea is to have it as close as possible to have the least amount of signal loss so that's sort of what the setup looks like. It's very consistent with all of my testing on the other weeks. But let's have a look at the numbers. All right, now that you've seen what the test setup looks like upstairs, let's have a look at the results. And as you can see here, the 8 dBi antenna rating 0.475 helium for the week. And then comparing that with the other antennas, it's definitely the worst one that I've had so far. And that is a clear sign that strength doesn't necessarily always mean better. So the higher the DBI doesn't mean you're going to get more earnings necessarily. And probably a good testament here, as you can see, the most that I've got for testing in a week has actually been the three DBI outdoor antenna. So that one has been doing well. From a witnesses and beacon point of view, the witnesses actually dropped down to one witness at some point during the week when I had a look. But at the time of filming, I can see it's back to three. So I'm still getting the least amount of witnesses and that's obviously why I'm getting the least amount of earnings. But from a beacon point of view, it was sort of okay or on average with the other hotspots that I've actually tested so far. Um, I did get a lot of comments on some of my other videos on the other antennas that I've tested. And again, I would encourage you guys to go and have a look at that. But in case you haven't watched my videos fully, you know, I stay in a leased house or a little townhouse and I'm actually not allowed to drill any holes or do anything really to the house. And all of these pictures that you see at the back, those are two-way taped to the wall. So I'm really limited around what I can do. I do know that I need to get these, especially the outdoor antennas, I need to get them outside and then as high as possible. But in my current situation, that's just something that I can't do. But hopefully that changes in the future and then I can do this whole exercise again. Now for this week, I'm testing another Amazon antenna that I bought. So I think I paid $40 or I know I paid $40 for this 3 dBi antenna. And then as you can see the connector at the back, this is sort of what it looks like. So it's a typical standard connector that we've seen so far. It actually came with a base station. So this is what the base station looks like. The connector on the base station is the same connector that would go into the antenna. So that's great. And then it comes with a three meter cable. So I'm probably not going to use this, but um, at the back of this, you can see it's got the connector that goes into the helium hotspot. 
and then it actually came with a male to female converter so this little device here in case that your helium hotspot at the back has got a different type of connector than what the base station's cable is so that's really the plan for the week is to give this 3 dbi antenna a good test i'm really excited about that because my last 3 dbi antenna actually got me the most earnings so keen to see what this one can do that's it for this one guys if you've liked the video please like the video and maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you didn't please specify in the comments what you would like me to change otherwise i'll catch you in the next one cheers